But we used to be able to sell records. And record sales has been dwindling over the last 10 years in um, ways that has really hurt our industry. So that's probably the biggest frustration. Um, if we want to look on the plus side, um, the internet has had a positive effects as well in that we're able to market online in ways that we weren't able to 10 years ago. Yes, they say when the mainstream industry has a cold, the gospel music industry has pneumonia. So I think we are still ahead of jazz and classical when it comes to market share. Um, but we have definitely taken our share of the hit. You know, we don't have to buy a whole record. We can go on iTunes and we can pick our favorite songs and we can create our own playlists. Um, or we can just put on um, Spotify and we can tell Spotify what kind of music we want to listen to and they will create a radio station for us at no cost. So, yeah, we listen differently. Well, regard, it's been exciting to see um, major cable channels interested in having a view into our world, our Christian and gospel music world. And so to see these various shows pop up, um, the Mary Mary shows on that's on We and then uh, Ben Tankard and uh, his show's called um, Thicker Than Water. That's on Bravo. And um, Natalie Grant, her show, It Takes a, what's It Takes a Church? Yeah, his, her show, It Takes a Church, that's on the Game Show Network. You know, so obviously, these different networks are acknowledging that uh, there are Christians out there that want to um, watch Christian content. Um, Preachers of LA, the Sheard family. Um, now, we've got to leave it to the discretion of the individuals and the people that are on these shows as to how much of their lives they choose to share. and. Uh, what they consider the purpose of the show to be, and um, that I can't judge. Um, however, my personal opinion can't negate the fact that the gospel is uh, being is getting to more people than ever through television. Um, God has been using us imperfect people for a long time and you know we would all like to show our best sides and we tend to want our leaders to show their best sides but the Bible says the truth will set us free and apparently we're getting a whole lot of truth 